Last year, we announced our objective to raise $100 billion, or better still, translated into our currency, at the time, 1.2 trillion rand. In new investments over five years with a view to addressing low economic growth and reducing unemployment in our country. It is now exactly one year since the inaugural South African Investment Conference, where local and international investors responded wonderfully to our call and stood on this platform to make investment announcements totaling nearly 300 billion rand. Of the 31 projects that were announced on this platform last year, eight projects have been realized and completed, meaning that the money has been spent, factories have either been built or facilities improved, and uh, workers employed, and all has gotten away very well. 17 are in construction or at implementation stage. Over the last decade, our economy has barely grown. Investment has dwindled, and the rate of unemployment has also increased. Today, we are still reeling and feeling the effects of several years of state capture and corruption, the erosion of important public institutions, and the resultant policy malaise. As a government, and as a country, we are clear about what needs to be done and what we need to do. And we are marshalling our every resource and our every capability to do just that. We are on a path of removing impediments and constraints to inclusive growth. We have embarked on a path that is illuminated by policy consistency, and regulatory certainty, fiscal responsibility, and decisive interventions to stimulate economic activity in our country. Central to our efforts to ignite growth, as well as to create jobs, is an ambitious execution-oriented industrial strategy, which is founded on partnerships between government, labor, and industry. Steadily but surely, we are making South Africa a much more competitive destination for investment by reducing the cost and improving the ease of doing business. We have set ourselves the ambition of being in the top 50 countries in the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Index within the next three years. As the Minister of Finance indicated in his medium-term budget policy statement last week, one of our central priorities is to return our country to a sustainable fiscal path. We are taking several measures to reduce public spending, eliminate wastage in government, and direct resources to where they will have the greatest impact on long-term growth and poverty alleviation. We are committed to taking the necessary measures to stabilize the debt-to-GDP ratio over the coming years. Our experience over the past 25 years of democracy is that macroeconomic stability and fiscal prudence is essential for investment and economic growth.